Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to boost the Intel HD graphics, we will boost the FPS and I will tell you the best settings for an Intel graphics card for better gaming performance. Trust me, after doing all these steps, the FPS will be definitely increased in your PC. So for that, you know you can do a right click and go to display properties and if you do not see the display properties like me, as I am getting only display settings, then here you need to search Intel. The moment you type Intel, you will find Intel Graphics Command Center or Intel Gra Graphics only. So we just need to click on open and it will open up like this. Now, here is the catch. For many of us, uh, the Intel Graphics Command Center will not be looking like this because it might be different and it might be uh, a older version or a newer version of Intel Graphics Settings Command Center. But the settings, the points, the tips will remain same for all kinds of Intel Graphics card. So once you open, either you have home, home tab like here or you will have your tabs on the top. So here in my uh, computer, it is at the left hand side and we need to go to the display section first. Now I'll click on display. Now it will show me the display settings for Intel. And here we have this general. Make sure you have selected the recommended one. Here I'm getting the recommended one for 192080. So you need to select that. The refresh rate should be the maximum. So if it is 48p or any other select to the maximum you might be getting more than 60 fps you might be getting say 144 then you can select that as well for scaling maintain aspect ratio this is important rotation is fine landscape um, color depth i would recommend to select the max which is bpc8 and the color format should be rgb all right once you are done you need to go to the color section and here you don't have to make any changes and turn off brightness enhancement because if you do the brightness enhancement it will you know uh, take more resources to give you a brighter uh, colors which we do not want we need a good performance no lag better fps so here you don't have to do anything. Now under display, we need to go to this um, video section. And in video section, here, please make sure standard color correction should be turned off. And all things like sharpness should be turned off. We can select the noise reduction. Uh, you can turn it on if you have it. And you can also turn on the film mode detection. So it automatically improves picture quality of videos that are made from film. You can turn it on. All right. Once this is done, we need to go to the system tab. And this is an important part. Here, the hotkeys are there, which we don't have to do anything. We need to go to this GPU. And I will click on that. Please make sure you have a latest version of uh, Microsoft DirectX. If it is not, we will update it manually. So here you will get your uh, GPU's information, like what is the graphics card you have, what is the update data, uh, the version, the OpenCL, and how much graphics uh, dedicated memory you have, shared memory you have, device ID and everything. So here, please make sure the DirectX is updated, uh, at least B12, and then go to hardware section. You can see your how much storage you have, and then under power. Now here, if it's selected power higher, uh, it is a very important part under power, under power settings, there is a power efficiency. The higher the number, the lower the graphics quality. So here you need to make it two or make it one. So I will go for two because higher the number, lower the graphics quality so here we are selecting it to the lower and that's it once you are done you can go to the update section and if you're getting any update for your intel graphics command center you can update it 
So once this is done, you need to close this window. Now one more tip is to update the graphics card. And I will let you know how we can do that. How we can check, do we have a latest uh, graphics for our Intel uh, GPU or not? Because if we don't have a latest version of Intel graphics uh, driver, then the performance will not that be good. So for that, we just need to do a right click and then go to device manager. Now here in device manager, we will go to display adapters. And here we have this Intel UHD graphics. I will select that and I'll just do a right click and I will go to properties. Now here in properties, we need to go to this driver section and see the date here. So I can see the driver date is 20th of Jan 2022 which is quite fine absolutely but if you see 2016 2018 2020 like that then i would recommend to click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed then i would recommend to close it select the uh, display adapter i mean just note it so here I can see Intel R UHD graphics. So I will open my favorite browser and I'll type Intel R UHD graphics. So this is the only thing which I'm getting and I'm searching the same. So if you are getting different, you can type right exactly here and only please only visit Intel website, nothing else. So here I can see support for Intel UHD graphics. The top one is also ark.intel.com. So I'm only visiting the Intel website to download the Intel graphics driver, not any other website. So here I'll maximize it and you can select your processor. You can check it out. And let's say if you're using Intel Core i5, you can select that. And then you can go to the drivers and software and here you can download the graphics driver so here you can see uh, it is um, 29th of December 2022 and you can download like this you can you need to spend time that uh, firstly you, you need to get to know which CPU you have what is the version and all everything and then you can download the graphics according to your intel processor so this is how you can download the graphics which is a very important part because updating the graphics is really an important and must do thing from time to time once you are done once you have downloaded it it's pretty easy to install it you just need to restart your computer and see the difference in your computer i mean gaming performance you can let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped and if you have any issues while updating your intel graphics card intel graphics driver then please do let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to help you to update your graphics driver i'll see you in the next tutorial guys please hit the like and subscribe have a wonderful day take care